Contractor John again. Today we're going to talk about replacing a single pole light switch. Okay, we've already made sure that our electricity is turned off at the breaker panel. Okay, and we're going to start by removing the cover. Now the switch cover changing this is is a little different in the beginning than doing a receptacle because we can't. If you have a, a field a field electrical tester that'll that'll sense the magnetic field, you can test. To see if the uh, electricity is off. But what we're going to do now is we're going to test and make sure and verify that our, our electricity is in fact turned off. So you be careful when you're doing this. Make sure you don't touch the box. We're going to touch the two terminals and we see that the electricity is off. That buzzing in here is just showing me that it has continuity. So we're going to take our screwdriver and remove our switch. Now you could, what I'm going to show you here is you can replace it with another single pole switch. This one happens to be bad. Or you can replace it with a dimmer switch too. So you'll notice on the switch there's two screws, okay, and there's none on the other side. And that's why that's why this is a single pole switch. Okay, good for operating one single light or a series of lights. Okay. You'll see different colored wires again. Our red, as you remember from previous video, is a hot wire. Our red, our black, our blue are always going to be circuit wires, hot wires. Okay. Your, your purple, in this instant, is a switch light, and that means that it, it carries electricity from the switch to the light when the switch is in the on position. When the switch is in the off position, this wire is dead, doesn't have any any current up to the light. So again we want to start with taking our hot wire off. And we do that. And we take our switch like wire off. And again notice I'm holding it by the tabs because we're gonna even though the electricity is off, we want to handle it like the electricity is is on. Okay? Alright. So now we're gonna install our switch back here again. But before we do that, I want to show you, give you a quick lesson in stripping the wire. We have our wire here, and there's there's several different ways to strip it. You can use a pair of, of diagonal cutters, okay, and cut it, strip it off. But when you do that, you take a chance on nicking the wire, and then when you bend it, it'll break. So the best thing is to get yourself a pair of strippers. And there's numbers on the holes here that tell you what gauge wire to put in there. And this is a 14 Wire, so you put in a 14 hole, give it a twist, and just pull it off. Okay. Now we have to put a hook in there, and some people take the edge of this and they bend it. Okay. It doesn't give you the best hook. These holes in the stripper are there for a reason. You put the wire in the hole, just have it protrude about a not even about a sixteenth of an inch, and just bend it around, slide it off, and you can see you got a perfect hook. Okay. And that's what you're going to do to put on your screw. Okay. So now we're going to take out our new switch and we're going to hook up our switch light first and notice that I'm putting on with the hook going clockwise and the reason for that is because when I tighten it it's going to pull that end around and not loosen it up okay and again make sure that when the screw goes down it makes contact with the wire that it's making contact with the copper conductor and not the insulation if it's making contact with the insulation you need to take it you need to strip it back a little bit farther Okay, so that's there, and now we're going to take our hot, and we're going to put our hot on. And you see this one isn't, it's kind of like wide there. So we want to take our needle-nose pliers, and we want to give it a little bit of a pinch, so that the wires wrap around that screw tightly. Okay. And then screw that back in, make sure that it's good to snug. Now we're going to put this back in the box. The tricky thing with solid wire versus stranded is sometimes it's kind of harder to push back in the box. But I like the solid because when you're putting it around the terminals on the mm -hmm. screw, you get all the wire on there and it doesn't fray and break off like the stranded does. But the stranded is easier to put in the box, so it's kind of a trade-off at times. So. So we screw our 
screws in. And again, these are slotted, so it allows you a little bit of movement in that switch. So if the box is a little crooked or whatever, then you got a little bit of adjustment making it a straight. Okay. And notice how the tabs on the that's what they're for is to hit against the drywall to keep get the proper depth. Now we're gonna take our cover plate and put our cover plate back on. And I probably just did something that I shouldn't do is put that little screw in my mouth there and hold it. Bad habit. Shouldn't do that. Especially if you're a young kid and your parents have spent thousands of dollars on braces. So, there you go. And there we have it. Okay, we've got our switch off right now. We have to go back to the panel and turn the electricity on. There's how you install a single pole switch. If you have any questions or comments, please visit contractorjohn.com. Drop me a line, ask me a question, and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Have a blessed day.